Hey guys, this video is going to be a review of the Emerald Talisman by Brenda Pandos, is how I think you might say her last name. And I actually read this a really long time ago, um, so long ago that it's like blending together with another book in my head. But I think um, I had to like think about which one it was. But, um, and my battery's going dead on my Kindle, so it's telling me to turn it off. But anyway, the book is basically about. A girl, her mom died a long time ago, she, and she's like kind of blacked out her mom's death, she can't really remember it, and then I'm trying to think how much I should say. She, um, if you're watching this on my blog, I'll have a synopsis of the book, like above the video, but basically she almost, she gets, she's walking home, her car dies, and so she ends up like walking through the woods to get home, and then almost gets attacked by something, she's not sure what it is, and this guy saves her, and then um, she finds out he's that there are vampires, and so it's like a vampire book, um, and I don't really read vampire books all that much, I've read Twilight, obviously, um, and I've read, like, one other vampire series, um, I've read two of the books, and I think there's a third one that still has yet to come out, and I'm kind of, like, iffy on that one, like, I've read the second one, and I'm probably going to read the third one, but I'm not, like, really into it, I don't really like that series that much, so vampires aren't exactly, like, my favorite thing, like, even Twilight, even though I'm a Twilight fan, I pretty much read the books for the wolves, and they're my favorite characters, and I read fanfiction centered around the wolves, not the Cullens, even though I like Alice and Jasper, they're pretty much it, and Emmett, I like Emmett. But, um, so I'm not like a huge vampire fan, but I did really like this book. Like, this was probably the my favorite that I've ever, like, seen vampires. Um, I liked how the vampires were characterized, I liked how they, like, how she dealed with the mythology behind the vampires, and I really liked the romance in this one. Um, even though, um, I'll go ahead, and this is a slight spoiler, but the main character, um, falls in love with a guy who's half a vampire, and, um, and it's not, like, messy in Twilight or anything, um, and I really like how that was done. I really like the romance and how the romance was handled. Um, it definitely, like, wasn't like Edward and Bella or other romances, because I think that's kind of like the stereotypical vampire romance thing now that Twilight's so big, but it's not like that at all. I really liked it, though. Um, if I had any problems with it, then they've gone away in my mind since I read it. So obviously there wasn't anything that, like, really bothered me. Because, um, it's been maybe, like, three weeks or so since I've read the book. Because I've been reading The Casual Vacancy for a really long time now. And I think I read this one right before I started The Casual Vacancy. Um, so nothing bothered me enough that I can still remember it. And usually if something bothers me and I want to make sure I don't forget it, I write it down. And I don't have any notes on this. So I don't think anything stuck out to me as something I needed to mention that, like, really bothered me. And I really liked it, and I liked how the vampires were handled. Um, it's a series, it's the start of a series, I'm going to read the rest, because I really liked it. Um, probably my, I'm not gonna say it's my favorite vampire book, because I do like Twilight for the wolves, <laughs> but I don't like, I like this one better, how it, like, characterized the vampires. Um, and I think that is all. So I will see you guys later. Bye.